Hey guys, it's Rachel, and today we are making these adorable Nutella brownie mousse cups. These are so cool because they're 100% edible, so you can eat the entire thing if you want to. And I, I guess that's what 100% edible means. But anyways, these are so good, you guys. The brownie is really rich and fudgy, and the mousse to go with that is super light, but still packed with Nutella flavor. And overall, they're just a great party treat because they're really portable. They are fun to eat, too, because who wouldn't love to eat an entirely edible cup made of brownies too, so let's get started. First off, in a large bowl you'll need a half stick of softened butter. Go ahead and add in a half cup of brown sugar, and then just get that nice and light and fluffy. Next up, we're gonna add in two eggs, and you're just gonna beat these in one at a time. At first, I was so set on using my spoon for this, because I was like, my spoon is so cute, I just wanna use it, but then I realized that was impossible, so I switched over to a hand mixer. Much easier, I definitely recommend that. And then we're gonna crack in our other egg and just mix that in too. Now we're gonna add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then we're just gonna mix that in too. Now for our star ingredient, we're gonna add in a whole cup of Nutella. This is gonna give it tons of Nutella flavor, make it really chocolatey, add a little bit of sweetness, it's super good. At first the mixture is going to look kind of split and gross looking, but keep mixing and I promise it'll get nice and smooth. Next we're going to add in a quarter teaspoon of salt, along with three quarters cups of flour, and continue mixing. At this point we're going to transfer this into a pastry bag. This is going to make it a lot easier to fill our mold, but you can of course use a Ziploc bag here too. And there is our pastry bag all locked and loaded. And now we're gonna grab our cup mold. I just got this from Michael's, but I'll also leave a link to it in the description box below. You wanna grease it up really, really, really well, and when I mean really well, I mean like spray down the whole thing, leave no spot untouched. And we're just gonna fill this up with our brownie batter. You wanna fill it up almost all the way, and make sure you cover the top part. You know that little, little protuberance at the top? You know what I'm talking about. Make sure you get that covered. Then you're gonna tap down your brownie mold to make sure that you get out any air bubbles. Then you're just gonna bake this off at 350 for at least 20 to 25 minutes. You really wanna make sure these are cooked through and you also want them to get a little bit crispy on the sides. It's gonna make them way easier to remove. And then here you can see I'm just leveling off the tops. Then you wanna let those cool completely. And I mean just like stick them in the fridge, whatever it takes to make sure they are completely cooled. I tried to take them out once when they were still warm and they broke apart, I had to make another batch of brownies. And I mean, it's really not the worst thing to have too many brownies, but uh, if you're looking for cups, you wanna make sure they are cooled completely. Then to pop them out of the mold, you wanna run your fingers around the side of the mold until you see a nice kind of air pocket around the sides. Then push from the center of the brownie mold and they'll pop right out. And then just repeat for the rest of your brownie cups. All right, now let's work on a Nutella mousse. This is only two ingredients. First off, you'll need one cup of heavy whipping cream. Make sure it is nice and cold, it'll whip up faster this way. And just whip that until you get nice stiff peaks. Then you're gonna add in a half cup of Nutella. You can see I've just melted this in the microwave for about 15 seconds or so. Then I let it cool a little bit so it wasn't warm when I added it to the heavy whipping cream. And then I folded that through. And honestly, you guys, just grab a spoon and try this. It is so, so good and really simple too. All right, now to jazz up our little brownie cups a little bit, I just dipped them in some melted Nutella because we are going all out with Nutella today. And then I dipped them in some rainbow sprinkles. These not only look great, but they actually add a little bit of crunch to the brownies. And if you want, you can dip them in chopped nuts, you could dip the brownies in peanut butter, whatever you like. So I'm just gonna continue dipping them in that melted Nutella. Or Nutella. Is it Nutella or Nutella? I'm pretty sure it's Nutella. But uh, sorry if I mispronounced it at some points. Nobody's perfect. All right, well, we're just working on our last brownie cup now. And those are our cups all ready to go. Now I've placed the Nutella mousse into a piping bag. I'm just gonna pipe this into my brownie cups. You can see I'm also using a star tip for this. Adds a really nice touch. Now I'm just gonna pop two Pocky sticks into each little brownie cup. This is optional, but it adds a nice little bit of height. It makes them look kind of fancier too. Then you're going to sprinkle on some little brownie crumbs. This is from when we sliced off and leveled our brownie cups. I just saved some of that and sprinkled it on top. 
And that's it. Alright guys, our Nutella brownie mousse cups are finished now, and these look so cute. This is basically like my childhood dream come to life. I mean, who wouldn't love to eat an entire cup made out of brownies, and Nutella brownies at that too. Anyways though, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do so right up there. Also follow me on Facebook at Kawaii Sweet World, on Instagram at Kawaii Sweet Eats, and then check out my blog at kawaiisweetworld.com, and I'll talk to you guys all very soon. Bye guys!